Ladies and gentlemen, as we always like to say, out to Lake Oswego or Oswego or Os whatever. You had it right the first time. Just go with the first one. Out to rioting Portland, yeah. Oregon, we go with. Uh, it's not, and that's not fair. I know. I you know. sound like President Trump. I know. That's why I'm making a joke about it. Didn't sound like a joke. It was meant to be a joke. Because I hear. No, I don't it, think it, we. I don't think that. It's appropriate to joke about that. Anymore. If you would listen to Trump, your town is in flames right now. It is in sheer anarchy. You know, the 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 That's barbarian. Why we shouldn't, we shouldn't yeah. perpetuate that. Uh, well, of course not. Of course not. How you doing, kiddo? I'm okay. Kind of tired today. Kind of tired today. Some days are good days. Some days are bad days. Right. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Well, you know. Uh, in general, that's life. In your particular situation, it's just something you deal with. You have to deal with, I guess. Well, you know. what's happening when we finish? Uh, sorry about that. I will close that down. Did you hear that noise? I don't. It, no, but turn it down anyway. Uh, let's see. Does this affect my audio at all? No, not at all. Not at all. You sound fine. It, it affects me hearing you. Really oh, okay. Does. All right. Okay. Well, I'll I'll try and be I'll, a little we'll louder. Just have to leave it for now. Okay. Anyway. Uh, after we're done, sometime shortly after that, a person's coming to look over my apartment. I have finally going to hire a a house cleaner. Oh, really? I can't do it anymore. I, I, you know, um, <coughs> it's, not, it's not. Like having it, you know, like people just have house cleaners. I never have. I never saw the point. Yeah. Can't yeah. do it anymore. Well, you, uh, you know, you're like me. I, I've never believed in house cleaners, but Marjorie believes in house cleaners. And so we have somebody who comes once every two weeks. And this is a pretty big house. So, you know, but we, while the corona... I mean, if, you know, if you have the money, it, it, that's fine. But I just never... I always thought it was too expensive for what it had. What it is, and they always put things away where you can't find exactly. them. Exactly, exactly. Thank you for agreeing with me on that one. <laughs> no, I never liked somebody coming and cleaning up my mess. It just somehow there was something I don't know. It, it didn't sit right with me. But well, you know, for you maybe have a bigger place. Uh, although my place is two bedrooms. Up until a couple of months ago, I could do it all myself. <clears throat> but you know, there's funny things happen when you have. Yeah diseases yeah and the thing about copd is that it never gets better by the way it yeah. can only get worse and what happens i think i must have mentioned this before if i bend over to pick up something i've dropped or whatever um i have it takes two minutes for me to get my breath when i stand back up yeah and there's a lot of bending over when you're cleaning house. <laughs> well, I mean, what happened was when, when the coronavirus hit, our cleaning woman couldn't come over, all right? So for about four months, we were doing the cleaning ourselves. And we were not very good at it, you know? We were not very good at it. This is a big place. This, takes a, this has a lot of floor surface, 250 square feet, you know? So it's not easy. But anyway, what uh, what think you of what's going on politically? Um, Was there a question there? Yeah, there's kind of a question there. What's the question? The question is, what do you think about what's going on politically? Oh, right you know, now? I am so, I'm just tired to death of it. I know, me too. I've given up on details. Yeah. I go only with headlines. Yeah. Um, it's uh, a president of the United States is defending somebody who killed two people and maimed another with his gun. Mm -hmm. A president of the United States is doing that and making up a story of what caused that person to shoot. Making it up. Yeah. Bending it out of nothing, the, the way he wants the story to be. <clears throat> I mean, it seems, given everything else, that it's hardly worth mentioning yeah. about um, there's just something every single, you know, being on the West Coast, when I get up in the morning, life is pretty well in gear on the East Coast. Things are starting to happen on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And I make the coffee and I turn on the computer and I sit down to go through the email and news. And Alex, every single day, if it's not every single day, it's not worth mentioning that it isn't. 
because it's so frequent that the first thing I find out in the morning is that President Trump has done something that will harm some person, people, group of people yes. every single day. Mm. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> and how long, and, and it, hey, it happens to go on during the day. More things come up that he does. Mm -hmm. I'm worn, he's worn me out. Yep. Just worn me out. If I'm still here, I'll vote against him. I don't care if they're running a radish. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I just, I can't stand it. Uh, I, you know, I know exactly how you feel. Uh, I've gotten to the point now. I do this show every night, okay, um, and uh, four nights a week. And I'm getting to the point where I don't know if I want to do it right now. The, is it always politics? Well, most of the time it is. Uh, I do a show on Mondays in the afternoons. It's a nicer show, and we talk about a lot of other stuff. But uh, that one seems to hit politics, and I'm so tired of talking about this man. This has been four years of him dominating the news cycle every single day. You know, I, I, I don't know if America is not going to vote for him because they hate him or because they're just sheerly bored with him. You know, it's exhausting. Um, and, and, and I don't think the longer it goes on, the less I, I think of Congress also. Yeah. That almost any single thing he's done as president should be, if not to remove him, um, a way to control him from following on with it. Yeah. Never do anything. As a couple of them get up and they make noises on camera. Yeah. And then they go back and do whatever they do in their offices. <clears throat> and so it's apparent that, first of all, I guess, I, the big takeaway is that our system doesn't work. Well. If you have the, a leader uh, uh, who will do anything, including encouraging shooting people in the street... Well, then the, um, that's okay. That's what our system allows. Well, let me ask you this, though, because I asked myself this question. In my lifetime, and that has been a long <laughs> lifetime, all right, a little bit longer than yours, all right, <laughs> have I ever had anybody run for president that I was absolutely overly enthusiastic about? And my answer was no. No, that's the question. Huh? I don't think that's a reasonable question. Well, I think it's a reasonable question. In have I ever, the question is, have I ever voted for somebody that I was enthusiastic about? And the answer is no. I don't think that that's a comparison. Really? I Why? reject that. Why do you reject it? Because it doesn't make any sense. It's not sensible. Well, no, but I'm thinking about... Somebody you know, who is apparently a crook, a con man, um... Uh, I think responsible for a whole lot of virus deaths compared to people whose policies, real policies that the current president doesn't have, mm -hmm. some policies that you don't agree with. That's a very big difference. People who know how oh, to no, run no, no, government, no, but I'm not trying to compare to do it this way, and you may or may not agree agree with somebody who thinks no. we it's okay for citizens to shoot each other in the street. Well, no, I agree with you on that, but what I was saying is you brought up <laughs> the fact that these people in Washington are dysfunctional and they blah, 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 and so on, and that I thought, if I look back in the past, was there anybody that truly grabbed me in a way that I went, I'm happy to sit down and vote for this guy, rather well, than that do, I would... Do you feel that way about anybody you know on Earth? Um, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, really that, don't want me as get, get out of that <laughs> piece of flattery. Um, I mean, it's not the same thing. You're, you're comparing people who understand, often have experience of many mm. years in the House or the Senate or as governors, who understand, first of all, number one, that a government is not a business. Trump doesn't know that. And that makes a big difference of how you run it. Did you see that this, I mean, there's hardly any point in recounting these things, but one of them is he refused this week 
to join the coalition of like a hundred and I don't know how many governments in the world to work out how when a vaccine mm -hmm. is developed, it will be distributed fairly. And he said, no, we're not going to be part well, of because that. He, because who is running it? I'm sorry, it's the, what? The World Health Organization is running it, and that's his way and of saying it. That's what he yeah, said, yes. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, so what it happens, doesn't matter what his reason is. That it's yeah. a completely dangerous, unreasonable thing to do. Well, in case people don't get the true <laughs> uh, uh, value of what we're talking about here. Uh, uh, this guy is saying to the rest of the world, you come up with a virus, we don't want it. A virus vaccine, no, no, we vaccine. don't want it. We don't vaccine. want a virus vaccine, we don't want it. You know, because we're not going to take it from the World Health Organization. Hell, No, I, I, what he's saying is not, the, the, the part he's not saying out loud is that if the United States develops a virus, none of you can have any. Is that what he's saying, or is it the other? I, that's the that's the part he's not saying. All I'm saying is that by not batching with the rest of the world, he's not <clears throat> he's locking himself out of something positive here. Now the thing is, and this is something I've, I heard today, that um, they have like five viruses, virus vaccines out there ready to be approved, right? And they Not say, approved in testing. It, 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 well, it's in testing, but they're waiting. Uh, they're waiting to have it approved after the. They testing. can't approve it until the okay. testing. The point done. I'm making is, they say at least four of those aren't going to get approved. That they're not. They're not going to be ready for prime time. So I mean. Well, but you're kind of talking about it in a not. In the it's not that's not the way it works. Yeah. Yes, or no, it has developed it. it kills people or it doesn't. It kills the virus or it doesn't. It causes other problems or it doesn't. But you have to go through, and this, you know, Trump doesn't want to do it, three sets of trials to find all that out. I mean, does it work on all people? Does it yeah. work on all ages? And so on and so forth. Lots and lots of testing to be done. Yeah. And it's something you can't rush, but in a way... We're in a situation where we feel we have to rush. I really? Mean, I don't agree that we should rush, but... Uh, but yeah. That's what you just said. No, what I'm saying is we are in a situation in which people feel we have to rush because of the economy, because people are tired of being indoors and wearing masks and all of that. All the wrong I have reasons. no interest in that. You have to stay home. You have to wear a mask. That's right. I want to I mean, know. It doesn't matter whether you like it or not. None of us like it. I want to know what's so terrible and and horrible about <coughs> wearing a mask. Yeah, I know there. Well, little... In my case, yeah. it's very very. I do it, but it's awful. I can't breathe. Well, I listen. I Stop I don't and have put my head down and yeah. hide and oh, pull yeah. it down to get my breath every few steps. A, a COPD I don't have. But even I, when I go out wearing a mask, it's a little more difficult to breathe than it would normally be. Yes, I know it's not comfortable. I know it, you know, but it's saving lives and it's your respect for other human beings. This is the part that gets to me. Don't you understand that, you know, you're part of the human race and you should have respect for another human being. And that's what you're doing when you wear a mask. You're saying, I'm protecting you. And they're saying, I'm protecting you. But we, I don't know if we live in a country that uh, isn't just that selfish that we can't understand that as a simple uh, idea, you know? There was a story in the paper this morning, and I don't remember which one, explaining the messaging of masks and distancing and how certain countries, and again, I've forgotten which ones, and <clears throat> which newspaper, but... Ones that from day one, back in January or February, when this began, put out consistent messages to the people of mm -hmm. their country of wear a mask and this kind of mask and do it in these circumstances. Keep your distance, whatever it was they said, and so on. And those countries, they named three or four they were discussing, um, have very, very low incidence of the virus, compared, and certainly compared to us. Right. And and the thing is that through the six or seven months we've been going through this so far, the message has always been consistent from the top. We've never had a message, let alone consistent. Well, here's what gets me. Do you know, to, the, to, the, to this day, today, uh, there were a thousand deaths yesterday in the United mm -hmm. States. 
In New York, by the way, we only had three. Okay? Uh, now, I'm not bragging here. I'm just saying. Yes, you are. Just well, well no, but nobody, nobody says, let's look at the New York model and see what they're doing right. You know? I mean, our infection rate is down quite low. Uh, our uh, hospitalizations are at an all-time low. Uh, people on in, in, in intubators are at an all-time low. What are we doing right? Why don't you look at this model and say, let's start thinking about using that model? But Trump so hates Cuomo, so hates the very state he, he's from, that he isn't about ready to say, let's look at the New York model. You know? Because what we did was very methodical, very scientific. We stuck to the science. We threw politics out the door. We threw the economy out the door. The most important thing was saving lives. So, I made my speech. <laughs> Yay for us! You know, don't come here. Don't come here. We don't want your 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 cooties. You know. Uh, so don't come here, but it, it's really, uh, we are right now the safest place in the country to be. So I made my case. Yay, New York. Well, you, do, you love New York anyway, so how can you not go yay, New York? It, it, I don't know, it just doesn't compute for me to approach it that way, of state against state. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, it, it, you know, it's just that... I just see this this carnage happening everywhere and, and kids going back to college and, and, and holding parties and not wearing masks and not, it's just, yeah, I know kids, you're not probably not gonna die from this if you get it, but your mother is. People, people that age get it and some of them die. Yeah, some of them die, but not enough. <laughs> well, I mean, is it okay for six to die? But not 10? I mean, come on. Yeah, but, you know... I have a period. Remember when you were a kid, you thought you were you were in, invincible. But that isn't you know? the point. This is not, you know, a, a winter cold. No, I agree with you. And I'm saying that, that they should know that they're not... <coughs> if at the very least, they're doing it for their parents and their grandparents when they go home to see them, you know? Well, you know, teenagers, which it's mostly about... It's their job to disobey authority. You know? yeah. yeah. You remember being that age. And yeah. so the point is, if we'd had consistent messaging from day one, as this yeah. country that were discussed in the in the newspaper piece I read this morning, mm -hmm. I think we would have a lot more people doing what they should be doing. But you know, I'm still not clear what is the best mask. Nobody is. No. I, to this day, I just I have decided that probably you know this is the best. You know, the, just the surgical mask is the best to use. The N95s are a bit difficult, um, uh, and they don't give you afford you that much more protection than these. If you're wearing this and someone else is wearing this, you're protecting each other. That's it. So, you know. as far as anybody can be protected. It's not foolproof. No. You get it all the time that wore a mask. Right, right. I'll tell you what. But uh, it helps. Well, it means fewer infections. I like that the inf infection rate has been under one in New York State for th three weeks, I think it is. And because of that, it's a little safer for me to go outside. You know, I don't feel as fearful of going outside. But I also, in this neighborhood, and I don't, I, I've mentioned this any number of times, I don't get it. Uh, I live in Harlem, large black community. Not very many people wearing masks. You know, I go down, I go down, t I go to Midtown, and everybody's wearing a mask. Well, I'll tell you, I live in a an apartment community that happens to be mostly old people. There may be mm -hmm. six families here with young children, and the rest are mostly old people. I go out to take out the trash to go to the mailbox or. For God's sake, get in the car once in a while and go to the grocery store. And I would I say I don't see more than one in ten wearing a mask. So you can't say any one type of person doesn't wear a mask. Right. Well, I, I all I'm saying is that here it it seems rather uh, predominant. And I wanted to make up a T-shirt that read, "If Black Lives Matter, wear a mask." You know. 
because I mean, if, if it, it this goes. This is what we on. need. One more sign. One more sign. Yeah, one more piece of uh, sign. Uh, so, uh, do you notice anything in your wandering? Do you do social media at all on any level? I mean, are you? No. No. Okay. Never. Because uh, you know, I was wondering if anybody is starting to see the Russians hacking us. You know. See the what? The Russians hacking us, trying to, you know, play with the election. They say they're doing it again this year. But I don't, you know, there's I, only so many stories I can follow in my life. Yeah, yeah. And I the, just don't care. And the most important one is they're going to do something. Years. They did it last time. They're doing it this time. So what's new? Yeah, exactly. Tell me something new. So uh, anyway, what are your what are your readers of your blog, which is timegoesby.net? You like the way I just worked sandwich that right in? What are they talking about? What is their what are they? We've been talking about? about end of life things. Yeah, because that's your. And, and a um, today I posted a story that a woman in Canada managed to get a petition through whatever they call their parliament or whatever in Canada. I'm ashamed. I don't know what that's called. But it's a um, an exception to the psilocybin ban that's been in force right. in Canada since 1974. It's only for four people to use it right now. That, that they're you know just it, the the petition was just for those four people, and that was what was granted. But in writing the story, I looked around and Oregon and and Washington D.C. both have items on the ballot in November mm -hmm. to either decriminalize or to some degree legalize psilocybin magic magic mushrooms. Yeah. And already they're decriminalized or made legal in Oakland, Santa Cruz, and Denver. So there's this little mini bubble. Well, let's explain. <laughs> explain for a second what psilocybin does to people who don't know. It's one of the uh, one of the mind drugs. It's one of the uh, uh, what, what did we call them back? You know, hallucinogens. But, More psych uh, yeah. psychedelic. Psychotropic. But this one has got a lot of scientific research behind it psilocybin which occurs in a bunch of different kinds of mushrooms and it is it is very useful um for people with end of life anxiety and what pe most people will say that have done it i've done it <coughs> um is that it removes a whole lot of the fear that it you come away feeling that you really are part of this great overwhelming thing, whatever you choose to right. call it. Like, right. Depend on your religious leanings or not. I don't have any, so for me, I think of it as the universe. You know? <laughs> um, and so there's this little mini trajectory starting, going upward. Yeah, right. Making this, I mean, they, the, the laws that have been written, as opposed to decriminalization, assign it for end-of-life anxieties, that sort of thing. And it really should be just let people use it. Exactly. You know, you take what you can get in little mini steps. Right. So that was encouraging. Well, we're almost kind of running out of time here. Uh, and for this session, I never like to say we're running out of time because, quite frankly, we're, we're all running out of time, but we're not running out of time. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, I'm very confused. I'm running out of time. Huh? Yeah, you're running, running out of you're time. You're running out of time, but the sand hasn't gone to the bottom of the hourglass yet. <laughs> but there's not much left in the top. <laughs> <laughs> but what we'll do is we'll come back again uh, maybe in, t in two weeks and uh, check in with you again and see how you're doing and see what you're thinking. This is, okay, uh, this you is too. my ex-wife, Ronnie Bennett. She can be found at timegoesby.net. It's what it's like to get older and, in some cases, what it's like to die. Uh, and um, uh, Well, I haven't quite got there yet. <laughs> she hasn't gotten there yet. She's still, she's still with us, folks. She's still above room temperature. Anyway, we love you, Ronnie, and we'll talk to you again in a couple of weeks. Take good care. Bye-bye.